Hey guys, it's Monica. This is going to be the sort of intro of my vlog. I am going to insert the clips of my week starting with a little bit of the bathroom renovation that we were doing so that you can actually see what that was like. And then, you know, we'd still been sick, so I really didn't do a whole lot of vlogging. You'll get little bits and pieces of my week, but nothing dramatic, nothing exciting. We haven't gone camping yet. The snow hasn't all melted yet. So it's been kind of a, you know, a, a weird week. Oh. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Here is my week. Oh, happy Saturday, guys. So I'm making breakfast. This is sort of like a low-carb breakfast. And it may look like an awful lot because all that's in here is eggs, cheese, and bacon. I can show you my bathroom. Excuse me. Yes, I got sick again. Or I never really got over it, but it just came back again. Um, so that sh show you my bathroom because we're going to get some guy um, is coming in today to do an estimate. Took all the curtains down. We had an ice dam. I don't know if you all know what an ice dam is, but um, oh, I'm swollen today too. I derma rolled last night, and you wouldn't believe it. I mean, I derma rolled last night. I got beet red. It's like the reddest I think I've gotten in a long time. But anyways, I digress. So we're having somebody come in and do an estimate today and you know we're going to have the ceiling painted and the walls redone because we had an ice dam and the ice dam has ruined the ceiling and also ruined the walls and so while we were at it we took out the tv that used to be in the corner over here a big shelf with that tv which was all the rage at one point so we took that out yeah so it's monday it's easter week i'm like very very behind because easter is a quieter holiday for us it's not like Christmas or Thanksgiving it's more of a quieter day and when my husband's mother was alive we always spent Easter Sunday with her she passed away and so lately you know the last few years it's been sort of haphazard sometimes we stop my mom sometimes you know my sister sometimes nothing we just quietly celebrate at home so this year, I'm having my mom and dad come up. My sister, one of my nieces, I think, is going to be available. My, my oldest son, Marty, and I'm still not too sure about my youngest son, Michael, and my granddaughter and grandson, but I'm hoping they pop by. So I have no idea what I'm going to cook then. So I'm going to do grocery shopping for Easter tonight after work. And I guess whatever I see, I cook. I buy. You can see the damage from the ice dam. And it went all the way across there. So, anyways, we're past due for a paint job. So, I, you know, might as well have everything repaired. We took this out, like I said, and, you know, and deal with it all. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is the other, you know. Oh, let me see what I, I was putting on my, uh, my eyeshadow and I left it out. My afterglow. And, um. Uh, so this is sort of like what it looks like when I'm not in the frame. So it feels really bare in here. So the guy that gave us an estimate yesterday is coming today to start the job. He says he can have it done before Easter, and I hope so. So this is after the paint job. I don't know yet what we're going to do up there. We left it unpatched, so you know maybe I'll just add a little shelf. I just don't want to have too many dust collectors. But the ceiling has been patched, so... And the wall, instead of faux painting, we just kind of... We have to do one touch-up right here. But instead of the faux painting, we just... Um, we just decided to do the, the light gray. Hey, good morning, guys, and happy Friday. I have not been vlogging much this week. I've done a few, but um, not, not a real lot. Anyways, I... Um, I think this is as done as my bathroom is going to get, but that's okay. So, I went to Walmart last night, and I couldn't believe it. You know, I'm going to insert a picture, but I went into Walmart, and I always, if I can get a parking space that I can drive through so that I can just pull out, 
I always parked that way. And so there was an open, you know, spot where I could drive through one side and then nose out on the other side. So when I was done shopping, all I had to do really was uh, pull, pull out. And I always park like that. I had no clue that you weren't supposed to. So I go into Walmart and come out and there is, take a look at this picture. I mean, I literally could not open up the trunk of my car. I really couldn't. I had to basically almost sit on the trunk of his car and open up the glass to put any stuff in there. And um, yeah, and it was like, so I posted on, on Facebook and I said, thank you very much, hashtag jerk. I couldn't believe the amount of people that piped in and said, I was wrong for parking that way, that you're always supposed to park nose in. And I'm like going, really? I never heard of that rule. I never heard of that rule. Why pop nose in and back out when you don't have to? When you can pull forward and then just pull out? That always made more sense to me. <laughs> so who knew? But I was apparently, apparently wrong. Anyways, happy Friday. It is the uh, Friday before Easter and my ongoing bathroom project and, and we did remove the big TV up there, but I, I was going to buy a shelf. I was going to buy something, but I don't shop under pressure like that because I couldn't really find anything. So it's going to be like that and I'm going to have houseful of company on Easter. That's okay, but I also want to show you a little bit out my window. I don't know if you can see it, but that's that's the grass. The snow is melting. It's a very, very foggy out today. It was actually rainy this morning, but that's grass out there. Although it looks more like hay because it's not green yet. It's kind of, you know, this is what we would normally call mud season or brown season. <laughs> it's before everything gets green, but usually the snow is gone. So, oh well. You know, I really, I hate to even mention this, but yesterday, Oh, by the way, today's hump day, Wednesday. I have not been good on my vlog all week. I probably should backtrack from Easter Sunday on, which I had a house full of people here. I was so busy, I never even took out my camera. I did let my granddaughter use my camera, and she was, like, taking all sorts of weird pictures. But I never, never vlogged. So today is actually Wednesday, hump day. But yesterday, on the way home, this is so sad, so, so very sad. I heard about the shooter at the YouTube headquarters or YouTube, one of the YouTube headquarters. And I immediately thought, I bet you it's someone that was so angry about being demonetized that they went and took a gun and decided to seek revenge. But in my right mind, you know, when I really thought about it, I said no one would, would actually be that stupid. Yeah, right. So what did the news say today? It was a woman that was upset over being demonetized. I was like, I was like so shocked. I really am. I'm so shocked. So I'm picking up, uh, trying to get ready for work. And um, Jay left earlier. He's meeting, he's meeting with a buddy that he used to know in grade school. Can you believe it? So he's meeting with him. And the buddy's a golf pro. So Jay's all excited because the guy's going to show him I think, uh, help him with his swing. Now, yeah, so Jay is an avid golfer. He just absolutely loves golf. His license plate is plus golf plus. That's how much of an avid golfer he is. So he's like all super excited about going down to do that. And I'm just, I'm just going into, uh, to work. I, um, I had to move my office last week and I think that's what kind of threw me off the vlogging hump because I ended up just, I just exhausted myself moving my office, then coming home and trying to clean my messy house because I was going to have a house full of people for Easter. And I am not Susie Homemaker at all. There's no way. I'm not even close to a Susie Homemaker. I'm really not. But so I was like, ah! You know, and then I have a small, wicked, wicked small house. I basically have like three rooms. I have my kitchen, my dining room, and my living room that I'm standing in, which shares space with this big, sadly neglected at times, elliptical machine. <laughs> my life is boring, guys. My life is boring. This is my perfect, perfect perfect. I'm still getting settled in, so I'm not all totally arranged, but I have a little bit of a view. So, my new office. 
small, but cozy. Hey guys, it's actually Saturday, April 7th, and we had snow yesterday. It's like, ugh, it's been unbelievable. Anyways, I just wanted to, I'm getting ready, Jay and I, Jay's actually working right now, and then when he gets home, we're gonna be heading out to dinner with friends, an early dinner, because we're going to this restaurant that is so popular that unless you get there early, you can't get in. So I'm slowly getting myself ready, and that kind of dawned on me. I wanted to talk about a product that was sent to me from the Oakley Network, and this is the Becca Velvet Blurring, my old lady glasses, Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. So I had requested this from Octoly, and I got it about a week ago, and I have been wearing it most days, oops, most days since I got it. And one of the things that I liked about this was I really liked the, um, the color. You know, it was very natural. I don't know if this is going to pick it up very very natural and it blended really into my skin really nice and it actually did blur my pores which i thought was really nice so i i have worn this all most days all week and one of the things that i noticed that when i use a primer the main main reason why i'm looking to use a primer primer is to help blur my pores and keep my foundation and concealer in place. That was my goal. So I have these veins and these veins always pop through no matter what. So then I said, well, you know, maybe if I use a primer, they won't pop through as much. So I've been on this quest for primers. You know, there's a couple of other products that I have bought that I've tried. The Ordinary High Adhesive Silicone Primer, that's one of them. And then I also use the Ordinary, this is the uh, High Spreadability fluid primer, which I really like. And then I've used the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. The Becca feels really, really good on my skin. And it is, it definitely, I think, blurred my pores better than most of the others. But probably mainly because it was a velvet blurring base that on my skin, which is dry skin, it was a little bit more mattifying than I typically like. However, when I moisturized and then I put it on and I wasn't in a really dry peely stage, it worked really, really well. And like I said, I was looking for something that would keep my foundation and my concealer on my face and blur my pores. This really helped keep the foundation on my face I did really well with it as long as I didn't touch my face or rub my face and stuff like that. So it worked really well and I was really glad to try it, but I found it more drying for my skin than I really like. So if you have different skin than me, this probably would really rock you because I thought it was very nice. So that's what I've been using, sent to me free from Octoly. The other thing that was sent to me free from Octoly, and I have not used it yet and I'm actually waiting for the face to come in, is this Tan Lux product. And I think Cindy, Palm Spring Cindy just recently did a review on it. I don't have the face yet, I just have the body oil and I haven't used it yet. I just got it in, so I'm really looking forward to this. I hope the face arrives soon because I wanna review both the face and the body, but I thought I would mention it. I also have received This is Mamand. Oh, focus. There you go. This is a lip balm. This is a plum blossom lip balm. I really like it. It is very, very easy to spread. Very, very smooth on your lips. I do have dry lips, and I have been using a couple of other balms on my lips at night. So I'm really looking forward to see how this one works in comparison to the others. This was also sent to me from the Octoline Network, so I think that's pretty cool. So what I have on my, fa my face right now, I'm sort of half made up. So now I'm going to finish doing my makeup, get ready, and then Jay and I are going to head out in a little bit. We're going to try to do a uh, little bit, maybe walk on the beach, although it's 42 degrees out. It's cold. <laughs> 42 degrees. And it, like I said, snowed yesterday. It's totally insane. Totally insane. 
I thought I would just kind of show you my finished look. This is a very casual restaurant we're going to tonight. It's, um, but it's extremely popular, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm just going to wear a pair of jeans, and I've got this top that um, kind of reminds me of a jammy top. But this is the top I'm going to wear, and. The mascara that I've used today is the Essence in Purple, and I used my Viseart palette in Amethyst, and then I used this little L'Oreal neutral color. I don't quite know what shade it is for all over my eyes. And then on my face, I did the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer, so I have that on tonight. That's still daylight, but we're going to be heading out soon. So on my face, I have mixed two of my Boots Number no. 7 foundation. One is Light Ivory, and one is my weak color that I really like, so I mixed that together. And then I have for my uh, contour, which I really like and I never really mention it. I, I would say that out of all the little contour or um, highlight type palettes, or things that I have, this is the one that I use the most, and this is so old. This is a Wonder Stick, and it's NYX. And one side is, and you can see how much of this I've used, one side is the contour, and the other side would be highlighter. There's a little bit more left of the highlighter because I tend to not use the highlighter so much. And then on my lips, I have lined it with my Avon. Uh, perfect plum I think it is lip liner and then a lot of people always ask me about my lip colors and I never really think uh, think about it but two of the things that I use a lot is my Avon lip liner and then I really like and I have many different shades but I really like the Maybelline on the mauve for 45 this one I like so much that I think I've got like three tubes of this one in the office you know one everywhere else it's just a really for me it's a pretty pretty shade and then lately I have been topping it off with Hard Candy Plumping Lip Serum and this is, I think, look for sure again, I forgot. But this, I'm telling you, is like the shade that I really like. It's Nude Beach. Nude Beach number 338. And it's just a gloss. And I really like it. You know, it's... For me, it's like perfect on my lips. I really like it a lot. So that's what I'm wearing on my face. I have my Swartzkis, pretty, pretty, pretty blue earrings. I really like these a lot. And the one question I forgot, I always carry a little bit of my oil, my squalene, because I have already dabbed that into the corners and sometimes even in, in the corners of my mouth because my skin is so dry and I don't want to accent my wrinkles. So I usually carry a little bit of that in my purse. But one thing I did want to mention because I've had so many people ask about neck care. Now, when I lift my neck up, my neck looks fairly smooth, except I do have some deep wrinkles here. But when I put my neck down, you know, the double chin shows up, all the wrinkles and all that stuff. So I have been using from almost the very beginning of my Retin-A journey, I've been using Retin-A on my neck. And I use the weakest Retin-A, the 0.025%. This is the second tube I've gone through. I'm very generous with it. I also buy it extremely affordable, so it's something I can do. But I typically will take a, and I'm going to just show you. I will typically take that much. And then I'm currently using the Ordinary Rosehip Oil, but I've used different brands of Rosehip Oil. As long as it's an organic, good Rosehip Oil, I'm happy with it. I've also used Kakao Oil in the past, but then I take that and I just drop a couple of droppers in. Oops. And I mix it all around. And that, I'm not going to put it on now because we're going out, but that is what I put down my neck. And then sometimes I repeat it if I don't have enough. It depends on how, how much I put in my hands. And I go all the way down to my chest. I do this every single night, religiously. Every single night I use my weakest Retin-A and a rosehip oil or a cacao oil, whichever one I have, or any good quality rosehip type oil. Um, and I put it down my neck and I put it all the way down into my chest area. So that's what I've been doing for my neck and chest. It, it seems to be helping me, I think. I mean, I, 
I'm certainly not perfect by any stretch, but it is helping me and I, you know, hey, you know, it is a sign of aging. So I just wanted to come back on. I just wanted to show you Jay is home. He's getting ready. We're going to head out to the beach. It's very, very cold and the wind has picked up, so I doubt if we're going to walk on the beach. But um, the rest of it is going to be in my vlog for next week or whenever I publish it. So I just wanted to um, kind of show you how, how I look since you saw me with curlers and no makeup on. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Oh, don't forget, subscribe, like, leave me a comment. I truly appreciate it. Bye, guys.